So, unboxing the Artist J2EQ guitar. Let's see uh, what shape it's in. So, we just uh, pop the lid off. And uh, let's just see. There we go. So, yep, I think always come well packed. Got the old Fishman uh, user guide there. A couple of uh, picks that uh, artists bring and the uh, Allen key. Okay, so, we've taken it out of the uh, wrapping and things, so here we go. So, uh, headstock coming down. So, the body. So, to be honest with you, um, with a lot of these guitars, they've come with little bits of dust. So, from the factory. Which, um, I have to admit, it's never really that impressive, but you think they could give them a bit of a wipe down. The Fishman preamp. That binding on that. Oop, going out of focus, sorry chaps. But it's quite nice. Let's uh, have a play. So again, just coming down. So here's the uh, fingerboard now. Don't know if you'll see. Again. Here, we got some glue or something on there. No, just some dust. And the fingerboards, you can't really appreciate through the camera, but the fingerboards look a bit dry, so it needs a bit, a bit of oil on there. Uh, some of the frets looking a little bit. Just not that tidy, really. So I have to admit that sometimes on first glance, uh, some of these guitars from artists just, I think they could probably do a little bit better job with just how they send them out. Uh, you know, with a bit of dust and a bit of dirt, not looking the greatest. I think if these were in a showroom, in uh, a retail, You'd probably think twice, wouldn't you? But once we put a bit of oil in that, and um, again these strings, just looking nasty, you know, just got a bit of, a bit of, just gunk on them. In fact, the, the, this string here, that looks, looks so old, I, will, I won't even probably tune it up with those strings. Those strings look horrible. So again, artists just need to just improve that a little bit. Let's have a look at the back. So the workmanship, yeah, looks okay. It's um, just a heck of a lot of dust. So this one I bought, um, and the shipment should have only just come in. So really, I, I'm surprised that the strings on them are, are old. Uh, and, you know, looking a bit rusty, because oftentimes they'll say that in a factory, if they've been sitting around for a while, the humidity in the factory, but this one I've had to wait on. This has been on back order, so I wouldn't have, wouldn't have um, thought that uh, I would need to have waited too long for that. So the, um, the binding, mother of pearl binding. Probably not the flashiest, to be honest with you. A little mark, little nick there. Um, so again, unfortunately for the second guitar in a row from artists, 
have to be honest and say, not that impressed with how it's come out from the factory. So, we'll be having a word. So straight out of the box, the um, guitar's got a few nicks in it to be honest with you, so I'll be giving them a call and seeing what we can do about that. Um, and uh, But this is straight out of the box playing, I haven't tuned it, I haven't done anything. So here we go, we've uh, tuned it up a little bit. We'll tune it according to the, the Fishman tuner, so we'll see how it plays. Um, as I say, the strings are looking a bit nasty, to be honest. The fretboard looks dry, and some of the frets are going to need to be have some filing done, which is disappointing. The action's quite high, um, and of course, my microphone on the, the little camera is not going to pick up as good a tone, I think, as what we are hearing live. But let's have a play and see. So all of those notes there, according to my Fishman tuner, are pretty much in tune, so you be the judge. So overall, I think it's potentially a really nice looking guitar, nice sounding guitar. For me, to be honest with you, it's all in the sound. So I don't mind a guitar if it doesn't look the prettiest, uh, as long as it sounds good. I think the strings on this are horrible, uh, and I don't think that's uh, Diodario's fault. The strings that come with it are uh, Daddario's. Uh, it doesn't say what which ones, but um, and so I think that sitting around the the factory and sitting around the the, the warehouse probably hasn't helped it. But it's a great looking guitar. Um, as I say, it's you've got some reflection there um, in my camera, but. I think, uh, again, artists just need to look at their uh, quality control coming out of the factory because this really isn't up to standard. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to call uh, artist uh, and I'll give you an update on what's happened. So packaging was great. Uh, the, gu the guitar case looks outstanding. Um, and just, as I say, a little bit of dust and a little bit of cosmetic stuff that probably won't take a lot to fix. But when you buy a brand new guitar, and a guitar that is in an artist's upper range, why should you have to do anything to it? And why, why should I have to take it to a luthier and get them to file frets and look at action, etc, etc? So I'll give you a, an update if you like, uh, once we've had a chat to artist. So it's been a few days since I did the um, unpacking video. Uh, and I've managed to talk to artist guitars and get a few of the issues sorted out. Let me just tell you right now, I don't work for artist guitars, but let me tell you, they're great at sorting out the problems. So if you have got any hesitancy at all about buying a guitar online, uh, with artist guitars, I can safely say I've never had an issue with them sorting things out. I have had a couple of issues with guitars. So let's be honest here, issues happen in all sorts of situations. And so yes, I've had issues with some guitars and some other um, products that I've bought, but artists have always sorted it out. So as far as customer service goes, 10 out of 10. Let's look to this guitar now. So this guitar is a really a copy of Gibson's J45. Uh, and I think it's, uh, it's so far, it's a really nice copy. It's got a gloss finish. I personally myself don't like gloss. Um, reason being is you put any finger marks on here and things like that you're going to get marks and so you're always cleaning it. So I much prefer a matte finish. But um, it's a gloss finish and it's nice. 
So what are the things that I've done since I got this guitar? Well, the strings really need changing, but I, I haven't changed them because I want you to be able to appreciate what it sounds like sort of out of the, um, out of the case or out of the packaging. Um, but the strings weren't in great shape, but I've cleaned them up. So what I've done here is I've uh, cleaned up the fretboard, and what I've done is um, uh, given the frets a little bit of a clean. I haven't actually sanded them down or anything like that. But I have um, just given them a bit of a clean uh, with some polish, given the fretboard a clean. Um, and uh, I have actually put a pit guard here, which is nice in this video. I think you can't see it. So I've got a clear pit guard. So on these guitars, and particularly the, uh, the high gloss finished guitars, you're going to get pick marks all over the place and it's going to get wear and tear. So I've put a pit guard on here. And if I bring that closer, I think you'll get a better, there you go, if I get it in the right light, you can see the outline of it. So I always use clear pit guards, um, and that way if I'm playing up on the stage, uh, people don't see it. I hate those, uh, uh, is it the tortoise shell pit guards on a guitar like this. Look, I mean, look at the finish on that guitar, that is a beautiful finish. Get the, I'll just get the gloss out of the way. Um, why would you mess it up with putting a, oh, I think they're horrible, those red, is it tortoise shell pit guards? Anyway, I hate it. it's a bigger guitar. So even my wife noticed it. It's a big, uh, beautiful, big sounding guitar. So a jumbo guitar. So um, let's see how it sounds. I've tuned it up um, and hopefully... I know it's a little microphone on the phone, but hopefully you'll get a, a sort of an appreciation. So there we have it, the artist 
J, 2 EQ, J for jumbo, 2 for, don't know what that stands for, and EQ because it's got uh, the built-in Fishman uh, preamp that you can see there. Um, so, uh, it arrived with uh, a few little problems, artists have sorted those problems out, uh, and so overall I'm pretty impressed. So, it's uh, solid wood, so solid Sitka, maple, uh, sides and, and back, uh, and it's a really nice looking guitar, so uh, I would have no problems in recommending the artist J2EQ. Thanks for watching.